Only one more place in the City of Light before we can take down the warrior. The City of Light. Or Maz's city. My city. It has stood for over a thousand years. Conquered by Araman, freed by the Ura, now facing the threat of corruption once more. The warrior seemed insistent on again asking us about our motivations. Like he just couldn't fathom the idea that someone who isn't a part of this culture would defend it, a part of this nation. And that's not too hard to understand. After all, things the prince himself has said have implied that he doesn't want to fight someone else's war either. But maybe this isn't for other people. Maybe this is just for Elika. Something he said when we first met the warrior seemed to have implied that as well. Though he did also say he doesn't want Armin to win. The confusion here seems to come about from the idea of whether the prince is a good person, and what exactly a good person is. We know Elika is a good person because she constantly sacrifices herself for other people. But that was her duty, as the warrior sees it. Will the fertile ground still be there? With the state of the city... It's still there. I can feel it. Let's take this city back. I think we just found another way to get killed. Is this ever going to stop? Not until Aram is stopped, when the corrupted are pushed from this city forever. Let's go on. And we have another new hazard. These are like the slimes, but stationary. That makes them slightly harder to avoid. Just slightly. I'm not sure whether the warrior created these hazards on purpose. He seemed like he was just angry. Or in pain. That sounds like a like a lot of pain to me. The thing about these tentacles is that only the first jump matters, and then everything after that lines up on its own. It's impossible for us to mistime any of the wall jumps. After the first one, I mean. They make really gross noises, but at the same time, they really make me want to eat spaghetti. We have to push him into a pretty small space again, but this time isn't any more difficult than the others. Whoever the last Corrupted you fight is, the difficulty scales so that even if you block an attack, they instantly go into a QTE chain. It's a long chain, so it's a good idea to not get hit, even if you are blocking. That is, unless you're against a wall, and you're fighting the warrior. Only in that instance. When he freaks out like that, you can't attack him. Elika, 
you want to hurry with the healing? He's gone. You had a cage in your city square? Of course. How do you think we scared our children? Be good, or you'll go in the cage and Araman will get you. For real? We kept animals in it for market, you idiot. Well, when you rebuild this place, you should build a few more of them. It came in handy. The city is gone. It was gone well before now. Then what will you do? Right now, we have to take care of the present. And that starts with us getting out of here. The last gate is opened. This is the last step. Armin will be trapped. Yes. We must return to the temple once this is done. But yes, we are close to stopping Armin escaping. Okay then, princess. Let's go and save the world. You must have a plan for what you'll do next. Do you? I'm not the planning kind. Maybe I'm learning from you. How many of you were there here, before Armin? Two hundred? Three? They've all gone over time, drifted away. When the city was in its golden age, there were thousands here. The houses lined with marble, the gates shining gold. Then the city faded. The marble was sold to feed the people. The city died. People left. All that remains is 